What's going on YouTube is Ninja Chortle and I'm back after a long hiatus. I know it's been a while. It's been since I believe September since I last made a custom and put a video on this channel. It's been for good reason because I've been taking a break so I can play some video games. I was playing uh, some Super Metroid and Metroid Dread and Persona 5 Royal and I threw in a little bit of Pokemon, although I didn't finish it. Um, but this video is not about me playing video games and talking about them. It's actually uh, a video that will show what I'm going to be making on this channel. Uh, what are we going to be making as figures, custom figures, in the next couple of months? So basically 2022. Uh, normally, I've actually been making posts on stuff like this on my Twitter account. So throughout the year, I'll just say, hey, this is what I'm working on next. And um, unfortunately, not a lot of people follow me on Twitter. And I've actually been noticing quite a bit of, of attention here on YouTube, getting a lot of views lately. And although still slowly growing on subscribers, I still want to test the waters and see whether or not people are interested in this kind of video. And uh getting what kind, whatever kind of engagement I can get out of it. So if you are liking this video or liking the content, the other content on this channel, make sure you subscribe, like this video, leave a positive comment. Um, and if you're not interested, just don't say anything and leave. Obviously that's, a, you know, just do that. It's a lot easier. But uh, anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and like I said, we're going to cover what I am going to be making over the course of the next couple of weeks, couple of months, um, just as a quick preview. And then I'll talk about some other stuff uh, towards the end of the video. But let's go ahead. I'm actually going to go and show you my creative process as well as how I keep track of what I'm going to be making on the channel. So here we have Google. And this is just to show you that I use a Google app that's called Google Keep. It's basically like a post-it note app that is how I keep track of everything that I want to make. So instead of just, you know, it just shows you how vast uh, of the stuff that I want to make is that I can't just keep it in my head and, and say, hey, I just want to make this. Um, I have a lot. So there's tabs these are all like uh categories that i made so you can see i want to make gravity rush actually pretty soon uh you see i've already made a zero suit samus is crossed out but these other two are still there my hero academia characters you can see this is pinned onto the top where these other characters are just eventually i'm going to get to them so going back to the main screen everything here is pinned the pin stuff is basically what i'm going to be making over the course of the next couple of, of weeks so what i actually make is you can consider it like a wave so like a marvel legends wave where they have the build a figure it's like six or seven figures in the build a figure obviously i could make some stuff with build a figures I actually have something planned for that but in general, it's just a wave. I want to put about 15 or so, give or take, more or less figures in each wave that I do. And then that's when I take a break so that I can, one, play games again, because usually when I'm creating, I'm not playing games. Two, uh, I can get more supplies because I'm going to run out of paint. I'm going to run out of legs or arms or head, or hair, or whatever it is that I need. Uh, you know, just to get stuff back together and save money so I can keep buying that stuff instead of it being a constant thing that's draining my uh, income and my uh, my ability to create. But as you can see here, I have relatively, if you just count across everything, about 15 or so. There are some that I will be making that are not on this list. I just didn't get around to putting them on here. So it actually will probably be more than 15 for this upcoming wave, but we'll get into that shortly. Um, starting off, it will be B from Pokemon, or maybe she's the second one I make or something like that, but I will be working on making B. And uh, Cammy from Street Fighter in particular, I'll be making this X-Men Street Fighter slash uh, Street Fighter Alpha costume for Cammy. I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, one thing that I've been working on with Cami is uh, over the past couple of months, really, probably since the summer uh, of 2021, is her braids. Because that's not something I can just do. 
Um, I've actually been copying braids from the Marvel Legends Valkyrie figure, and I'm hoping as long as everything goes well, that I'll be able to just make a big copy and make super long braids so I can do my cami figures. That's very, that's pretty much the most difficult thing that I have to work on is um, her braids. If that works out, then cami will be made. But you can see I have other camis that I have planned. Those are gonna come later on. So it's just gonna be the one cami. Same thing with Chun-Li. I'm gonna be making her Street Fighter Alpha costume. It's my favorite Chun-Li costume. Uh, it is uh, an alternate costume in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 because her default is this in most of the games. But in Marvel 3, I usually played with her alpha costume alternate. Um, and then uh, we're going to keep going. I do have, not only do I want to make Xenia, but I actually have a model kit for uh, Rayquaza here. So I'll be making that, uh, building that, and then making a Xenia to go with it. Um, one thing that you may notice and uh, based off the channel, or maybe you didn't notice, and I'll just go ahead and point it out right now. I have collections that I've been building up. And every time I make a wave, I try to add to that collection, either at least one figure or multiple figures, and then throw in some other stuff. So example being Pokemon like Xenia and B, I have a whole Pokemon shelf right here. Uh, this is Misty, I made her last year, and there's no one else on that shelf. All of these are just Pokemon. So I'm gonna be adding more Pokemon trainers, as you can see on my list. And, and going through all of that stuff. Uh, another thing right below it is Evangelion. I got statue Ayanami, and here's Misato, and there's uh, Asuka, and then there's the two that I made. And then uh, that's, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Uh, Kaoru, there you go, uh, back there. So even though my list, I have Ayanami, she's the next one. So I'm just gonna add at least one Evangelion character in the wave and then back here is where is very messy right now but where i keep all my marvel versus capcom figures or all of these and uh, these are mostly marvel except for that morgan that i made a few months ago um so yeah i i want to keep adding to that and that's why we got cable here because cable is marvel versus capcom he's gonna go on that shelf right there and um, as long as I have my uh, the, the knee pads that I want to use, as long as they fit on his legs for the body mold that I'm going to be using, then I should be good to go. I still need to get this, the lance for him, but for the most part, I think I'm good to go. I also have a Mar Hero Academia collection. I can't show you that because of the webcam, but that's sitting right over here. And uh, if you've seen on the channel, I made a Nana Shimura uh, a few months ago. so. Adding to that would be Midnight. So we're gonna add a Midnight figure into that collection as well as Momo Yairozu. And then there's plenty more. So you can see, again, it keeps on going. This is not a f the full list at all. There is plenty on this list of characters that I'm gonna be making over the course of however long it takes. And this is still not all of it. There's just plenty more um, down at the bottom of that list. But focusing more on this, here's another Pokemon character, Claire, from Gen 2. Uh, as far as DBZ, I think I'm going to be starting with uh, Android 18 in this classic. I think this is her first outfit um, from DBZ. So that's where I'm going to start and then continue onward. Again, here's Ayanami, but we're going to do the white plug suit uh, from the original series. And Harley Quinn, just to keep going with DC. I just made that Power Girl and I'm feeling Harley, it's time for Harley. Uh, I wanna make Sakura, Street Fighter, original costume, still kind of figuring some things out and how I wanna approach that. But for the most part, that's happening. And um, what else is going on here? Oh, so Emma Frost, uh, I always like making X-Men and we're gonna be doing uh, the Phoenix Five costume first. And this will be the first Phoenix Five costume that I'll be making. Uh, I'm pretty excited for that. I've been waiting to do that one for a long time. I actually was planning on doing um, this one first, but I still have some things to figure out, and I think it's time to get going on Phoenix Five. Uh, I don't, I don't see Hasbro doing that anytime soon because uh, I think they would have done it by now. 
Uh, as far as the last one goes, because again, that's about 15 there. Uh, I'm going to do Marnie, again, another Pokemon character. But you can see, I'll quickly explain here. I'm going to be doing this costume or this outfit uh, in her original Marnie self. So she will be very small. And outside of her and Misty, these are the only two, or just those two, uh, are the ones I'm going to make as like their actual size and height and weight and all of that stuff. Proportions. This says right here, adults, because this is her costume more or less um still fan art but more or less uh her costume from like wearing the gym league stuff from sword and shield i want to make that more adult more adult body instead of like super short and thin and stuff because uh, even zinnia i think zinnia is an adult but she's just a short adult whereas claire is a taller adult that's fine. Like I'll make them that height, that weight, etc. whatever I can do. But for all of the other characters, they're all pretty short and mostly underage. And I don't want to do that for every single character, especially since they're girls. And most of the body parts I'm using are Marvel legends or superhero characters or adult characters. I can't always do a child's body and I don't want to either I'd rather not so it's just Misty and just Marnie and then after that going forward all of the protagonists all of the younger characters that are underage will all be adult versions of themselves I'll explain that more when I start making them but that's how the plan for Marnie and all of the rest of the Pokemon characters are going to be um, that being said that's about 15. I might slide in Lalandra in there as well. Um, this one being her without the armor. I already made this one on the channel, so you can check that out. Um, but it will be drastically different than this build because um, I actually, you know, I made it a while ago and I made mistakes. She's way shorter than she should have been. And I'd like to redo this one eventually. But for the most part, I want to get this one done and make her the way that I want her to look um, and then come back and do the armor look at some point in the future as a remake. And speaking of remakes, I do have magic over here as well. Um, I've already remade this one. Again, some mistakes were made, but I will remake it at some point in the future. But I'm actually going to be making the Phoenix 5 magic first. So that way you can get that done. And I'm looking forward to making that. But that is kind of on the maybe I'll throw it in this way. Maybe I'll wait until later um, sort of thing. And then you can see the next wave after that, which will be way down the line. Um, because, again, I'll take a break and play some games for a while and then come back and I'll be starting up. You see some more of my Hero Academia, um, some more X-Men, Solar Croft, some more Pokemon, Resident Evil, etc., etc. And all of this is still subject to change. So even if I have what I have here, this isn't static. I can still update this and change this and make new figures or different figures from what's on this list. But it still gives you a good idea of what's coming from me on this channel. Now, with that being said, I still have some other stuff I want to work on before I even get to that. Uh, one of these things being that <clears throat> if you notice, I have this Sentinel here because I haven't made a video since September and it came at the end of September. And when it came, it came with these extras. Um, we got the, the Bastion figure, which is super cool. Love that. I have them displayed like that. But Bastion also came with um, an extra little uh, head. So I only have one body. I don't want to be swapping heads all the time. So I'm going to make an extra male figure that'll be... Well, I, I don't know if I'm going to use this exact design or if I'm going to go to the comic size. I think Bastion looks a slight different uh, than other than just a head uh, from the other Prime Sentinels. And then it came with the female figure which in general, I don't like this body mold in general, but um, I am going to do at least two more uh, female figures. One will be using a Kate Bishop body mold and the other one will be using a Moonstone body mold. Um, so what I'm actually going to do really quickly, I'll show that off, is these legs are um, easily pop off, you know, can easily pop off. Um, and that's how I make most of my figures anyway. 
but these legs in general are fairly big, um, reasonably big. I'm going to swap the, these, these legs out and put the legs off of the newly released shriek figure on this body mold. So those legs are thinner and those legs are pinless and they're black and they are uh, very simple. You can just pop them on. And I think I'm just going to leave it just like that. Maybe I put a shinier uh, finish on it. So that way it won't be such a dull black, but that's about it. And then I'm going to take the, these legs and put them on the Kate Bishop body mold and go from there. Um, all of the three that I make, or I should say two that I'm going to make, I'll still try to mimic all of the detail on the, uh, the neck all of the sculpt and stuff there doing my best to do that. And then I'm going to make different faces using different heads and give them different hair and so on. And then the moonstone body molds, again, it'll be the same thing. It's basically going to be um, a black cat figure, but you know, this is just the closest example that I have moonstone body mold, but I will be using these legs instead of the black cat legs because these are all black and they're just simple legs. So these will be easier to, to work with. Um, so yes, I am foddering my Miss Marvel. This is my Miss Marvel from when it first came out and I am going to fodder this just to make a Sentinel out of it. Um, that being said, it is on my list to actually redo this Miss Marvel. So I may push this up and do this sooner than later. And cause all of the other Carol Danvers figures that I've made are on Kate Bishop body molds are slimmer and I love the way they came out. So I'm going to keep that going and go ahead and just take the sash off of this and use this hair. I'm not going to use this head cause I already have a head for it, but I will use this hair and just go ahead and remake that, uh, Miss Marvel figure. So I'm looking forward to that. And then, um, I actually also want to do another thing because I'll probably do a, a second head sculpt. So you can see here, she has her mask on you can see her eyes and her eye color and stuff. Uh, there's also her with a completely whited out eyes. So I might make additional, uh, head sculpt for that. So she can have swappable heads and I can go back and forth between that. So, but I might work on that sooner than later, So I'm looking forward to that. And then, um, lastly, uh, I want on before I start doing full on customs is to fix some customs that I've been putting off for a while that have either broken or just needed some touch ups or things I wanted to change. Uh, one of those is actually uh, power girl here, which is the last custom that I made on the channel. So one of the issues with her is that uh, I see some of the paint came off like on, on this ankle here. There you go on this ankle. It's supposed to be blue. It's like all white there. So I might just touch that up. And then lastly, her cape isn't on because her cape broken. Uh, it, it got broken. So just need to glue that back on and hopefully the glue will stick. Uh, and then I can just put that back on my shelf there. That's what I hope. I don't want to have to redo that again. Um, one thing I'm considering to redo is this zero two. Um, all of it's fine but her hair is hot pink color because it is the name of the pink that I used. It's the only pink that I had at the time. And, um, I now have a regular pink color and that's way more accurate to how her hair color should be. So I might remove all of this paint and start all over and paint her hair over again. Um, and then when I make zero two in the future for her other costumes, uh, her hair will be the right color for all of the figures that I made. And lastly, um, my Celine from the Hellfire Club set that I had to modify and make custom of, uh, you can see her knee right there is broken. She fell over. It was made with epoxy sculpt. So it was basically hard stone or whatever epoxy sculpt is. Um, she fell over, it broke and I'm going to redo these with plastic. So that way it's glued on there and it won't break. And it's just the way that I also should be the way that I wanted it to be anyway. So I can go ahead and fix this and, um, get her back on my shelf. So that's about it. Um, as far as this preview goes and stuff that I'm working on. So again, I'll be working on another video, uh, shortly and this will post probably before the end of 2021. 
Uh, let me know if you like this kind of video. I can just give you updates on what I'm going to be making before I make it. And then I'll have the videos that will be full on showing you what I did for each character. So you can see like cable and uh, Android 18 and stuff like that. Videos for them will be individual. Um, those are still coming and as I make them. But let me know if you like this video. Uh, share with me in the comments that stuff, all the good positive things. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe on the channel. There'll be more videos on the way. The next video will be a comparison video, uh, which will be something that I made as a custom figure and then was later released as an official figure from Hasbro. And I'm going to compare the two and see how good they did or how good I did, how bad, etc. just to have fun. And also just again, test the waters for that sort of content on this channel. So like subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.